Hi guys, my name is Alexia and welcome to my very first OFTV. Today we are going to be making some homemade chocolate chip cookies. And I have actually made homemade chocolate chip cookies before, but they weren't the greatest. I'm hoping today that they turn out way better than they did last time. So let's get started. First, I'm going to preheat the oven to 375. And now I gotta get some of the ingredients out. I already have most of the ingredients sitting here, but I gotta get the butter out of the fridge. I got a huge thing of butter and I did not mean to. It's freaking huge. But better to have tons of butter than none at all. Okay, so we need the soft butter, white sugar, which I have right here, brown sugar, and the vanilla extract and mix them all together until it's nice and smooth. Three-fourths of a cup of white sugar two and three. Now we need the same amount of brown sugar so let's try and not make a mess but I'm probably gonna make a mess. Last time, I can't, I feel like, oh my gosh. Okay, come on. I'm making a mess. There's one. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of extra brown sugar. Two. Come on. And three. Okay. Now we need one, what is it? One, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. They're little mushrooms. I can't. I can't even, you guys. I can't even. Again, let's do it over just in case. <gasps> okay. Now I'm going to get the butter and I'm going to melt it on the stove. That way it also makes it easier to measure, put in. Okay, while we wait for the butter to melt to put it into the bowl as well, I'm going to get two eggs. I'm going to crack one. Oh my gosh, this one's rolling. And two. Okay, we're still waiting on the butter. So in the next bowl, we have to add the dry ingredients, which will be the baking soda and the flour and salt. I like salty things, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to my chocolate chip cookies, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of salt. Like if I'm going to add some salt, I don't want to really be able to taste much of it. So I'm going to add some salt, but again, not a lot. So I got to do two one fourth cups of flour. Now this is where it gets messy. I already know. Oh, yeah, there we go. Already spilled it everywhere. Now we need one teaspoon, I believe. Yeah, one teaspoon of baking soda. So one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, let me check on the butter. The butter is almost ready. It's still got a little bit longer to melt. So it says to add half a teaspoon of salt, but I don't even know if I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to just sprinkle in a little bit to the point where it's probably pointless for me to even put salt in. And that's good enough for me. As we wait on the butter to finish melting, I'm going to go ahead and mix up what we do have with the whisk in here. That way when we go to add the butter, not much left to do. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. Add in the stuff. Okay, now I'm going to get a spoon to finish this. So the butter is done, so I'm going to grab that, pour that in, and then mix it all together, and then we'll be able to put it on the baking sheet. Now let's mix it all together. This is what it's looking like so far. I don't know if you can tell, but it's nice and creamy. And now that it's nice and creamy, I'm going to add in the chocolate chips. Let's do one cup. 
we'll see how that looks first. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It said to add in two cups of chocolate chips, but I don't know. I'm thinking one might be enough. Hmm. I'll do a little bit more. I'll do a cup and a half. Yeah, I think that works good. Now let's add some to the cookie sheet and then we'll be able to put it in the oven. Mmm. So good. I have six on here. I just want to see how they come out before I do the rest. And I'll get back to you after they come out. They're going to be in the oven for 11 minutes. So once those are done, I'm going to put the rest of the cookie dough in while we snack on the ones that are done. See, I'm smart. I'm thinking ahead. So the cookies are about to go off. I'm going to pull those out, let them set for about five minutes, and then I'll show you how they turned out. I think they turned out good though. Okay, so I let them sit out for a while and cool off. They're not the prettiest. I definitely put too much of the cookie dough in one spot. They're kind of big, um, but let's have a taste test. Oh God. They may not be the prettiest, but they taste really good. And I'm not just saying that. Mm. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my OFTV. It was, again, it was my very first one. So let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Bye.